Hey fellow snipers, what's cracking? Stalker cracking SRS hop-up chamber emerges from the deep to unleash the inner beast of your SRS. Hey what's up everyone, today I'm going to talk about and install my new Kraken SRS hop-up chamber. It's made by Stalker Airsoft and you should definitely check them out on Facebook or Skirm Shop. They make quite a few sniper rifle parts and other airsoft necessities, but let's get back to the Kraken. So there were two options, Standard or Ultimate Edition. I went with the Ultimate Edition as it comes with more chamber options. You get three hop arms instead of one, as well as two nubs. Opening up the packaging you will see those parts, as well as the chamber itself, a proprietary bucking, some set screws, and a few o-rings. I dumped all of the contents into the open packaging so I don't lose anything. Now we can officially get started with the install. Start by loosening and removing the small set screw on the bottom of the chamber. The two halves will slide apart and the adjuster wheel can be removed. One of the o-rings will fit inside the adjuster wheel. There's a small groove. Go ahead and pop that o-ring in. Make sure it's sitting in the groove and then add a tiny bit of lube if you wish. I'm using Tech T. Now take this half of the chamber and slide the wheel all the way back. The side with the teeth goes on first and there are white reference lines on the wheel and chamber body that I will talk about later on. Once you have the hop adjuster wheel in place, set that chamber half aside and grab your inner barrel setup. Let me tell you a little bit about the combination I went with. Being a fan of edgy, I went with a 6.01 430mm stainless edgy barrel. This hop up chamber is designed for GBB cut barrels, so I recommend going that route instead of an AEG cut barrel, which is what an SRS normally takes. That being said, the stalker buckings for the Kraken chamber are considered proprietary. Meaning you need the bucking designed for the chamber. I'm sure you could use a standard GBB or VSR bucking, but it would defeat the purpose of stalker's new design aiming to improve alignment issues. The stalker buckings have an alignment tab on each side compared to one tab on a standard VSR bucking. I also decided to R-hop my edgy barrel, so the contact patch had to be removed from the bucking. That can be done by turning the bucking inside out and using a razor blade or small dremel tool. I'm sure Stalker Airsoft will come out with the flat hop bucking eventually. Anyway, I took my edgy barrel and installed my Sniper Tor R hop patch. Then carefully slid my modified flat hop bucking over the barrel until it locked into the groove on the barrel. I added a few dabs of Tech T to the outside of the bucking. I knew it was designed to be a tight fit so this will make installation easier. Now grab your chamber half with the adjuster wheel. Carefully slide it over your bucking and barrel. Make sure the hop up window of the barrel is facing up so it lines up with the hop window on the chamber. The alignment grooves on the chamber and proprietary bucking make this part smooth and simple. Next up grab the other half of the chamber and slide it onto the barrel from the opposite end. Push it against the adjuster wheel and everything should be aligned. It's that easy. Tighten the set screw on the bottom and then grab the two grub screws that came with the Kraken. These screws go on the sides of the chamber. Thread them in until they just touch the inner barrel and start to get tight. Then go back and forth and tighten them evenly. This will help keep the barrel centered and prevent it from shifting. Next up we can install your hop arm. Start by grabbing the microscopic spring and screw pin. I found the easiest way to execute this task was to use the tips of my fingers and stand the spring up in the top of the chamber. Needle nose pliers would work too. It can be tricky, but there is a small indent designed for the spring in the top of the chamber. Once the spring is in place, keep the barrel and chamber very steady if you're holding it. Now you want to select your hop arm. I chose to try out the S2 arm, which has a longer contact patch. I'll touch on that in a bit, but grab your hop arm of choice and you can drop it in. Oh, I almost forgot to touch on the reference line. There is a white line on the chamber body near the hop window. Align that with the line next to the 6 on the adjuster wheel. This is considered zeroed out for the arm install. Pretty neat feature. Anyway, take your arm, tilt the nub end down first and slide the tip into the hop up wheel channel. Then carefully set the back down over the spring and hold it in place while you insert the set pin. This little pin is extremely small and threaded. You need a super tiny flathead bit to tighten it. Make it snug, just finger tight will do. That's just about it. Play around with the adjuster wheel and look down the barrel. The applied pressure to your bucking or R hop patch should look even to the naked eye. The Kraken comes with a beefy o-ring that slides over the inner barrel and sits against the chamber body. 
I think this assures the unit sits where it should so the adjuster wheel doesn't get stuck. Now you can put your cracking unit into the outer barrel. I actually did forget one of the o-rings, it's the smallest one that came with the kraken. This o-ring goes in a groove right inside the entrance to the chamber. I believe it's considered a BB stopper and in theory could help with nozzle seal. Anyway, pop that in carefully, a small pocket screwdriver may aid in installation. Well that wraps up installation. I did all of that without looking up any information. The features on the chamber make it very straightforward, Stalker Airsoft did a great job. As for a shooting test, I have a few in-game clips with the S2 hop arm that we can jump into right now. Got one. Back chain. Yeah, got him. Up. I got him. I got the little speedy boy kid. You got the run boy? You got the run boy? Yeah, I got two, but watch out, they probably have a medic just like we do. If you are still watching, we can wrap this video up. Is the Kraken chamber better than others? In terms of accuracy, range, and consistency, no. The job of a hop-up chamber is to house your barrel with a bucking and apply hop how you want it. Achieve that with a good air seal, the chamber's job is done. You can have the same performance with a fast hop if you take your time for proper installation. In terms of easy assembly and alignment, that is where I definitely think the Kraken is better. Looking at the Kraken next to the fast hop, the Kraken has slightly bigger teeth on the adjuster wheel. That could make adjusting hop a little easier, especially with gloves. Another thing that I noticed is that my chamber body has VSR stamped on it. I'm willing to bet Stalker Airsoft has an alignment friendly AEG bucking system under development. That means more options. I recommend this chamber to anyone with a Silverback SRS. But enough of me rambling on. Thanks for watching everyone. Stick around my channel for full gameplay videos with the Kraken Chamber and different hop arm selection. See you next time.